Hello there, Slifer here again, and we are going to play Prime World Defenders 2 phone version. So, today I am going to talk about towers. Some of you have contacted me in Facebook, in my Facebook page. Some of you have texted me personally on my Facebook account. And, um... Some of you ask me to do more videos about towers because some of you have towers which don't know how to use. So today I'm going to make a video for two towers. Um, I'll try to make uh, combo videos which will show you a bit more how you can use your towers properly and how you can... Um, how when you deploy your towers on the field, on the battlefield, they'll be more effectively if you have both of them together in one level, in one battle. So let's start it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will start with support towers today. I will make a video for one normal tower and for one legendary tower. So I'll make a video for my stun tower and for my flaming cannon. So, as you know, the stun tower is one of the main towers I'm using because in my, previ in my previous videos I explained you this is my main support tower, which is special. And it's maxed out, 9 from 9 towers, level 90, which is the level of the player. So if you're level 60, your tower can be only level 60 um, as well. You can you can actually upgrade this star to level 90 till you not reach the level 90 in the game. So you have another reason to play the game and to become a better player. My second tower I'm going to talk today is the Flaming Cannon. Another support tower, but it's legendary. It's 7 stars and it's pretty awesome and I will tell you why as well. My Flaming Cannon... It's my main tower when I am dealing with flying creatures, but not just flying creatures. When I'm dealing with flying creatures, uh, which are like bats. As you know, the bats, their impacts like 15, 20 in the wave. You know, this big boss, Medusa or whatever the name it is. It's probably the most annoying boss in the whole game. For me, this is the hardest boss because it's really hard to get stunned and to be forced on the ground, so you can actually kill it easily. Um, because I'm not using any towers which are uh, which are shooting flying creatures, I am using my flaming cannon. Why? Because this flaming cannon sources a uh, devastating flaming bows that have 37% chance to stun multiple creatures for two seconds and the best thing is fly it's forcing flying to the ground so if you have them bats and you actually manage to stun them you will stun like 5 6 15 or whatever they are in the pack so the damage is pretty low the speed is pretty low sorry the rate of fire is pretty low the range is pretty so-so, because I made it like this, but I have 9 upgrades on the tower. Uh, the thickness is really bad, and this is really, really expensive tower. This is the most expensive tower in the whole game, which costs you 65 primes to deploy the tower, and every time is costing you like 32 primes to upgrade. And this is a lot. Um, why I am using this tower and how I actually managed to make my tower uh, one of the strongest tower against my flying creatures. This tower doesn't have any damage but have some stun time, have a lot of upgrades, have a bit more fire rate and have some bit more range. But this tower it's blocking the path of flying enemies does not block the path of undergrounds because i haven't managed to get my uh 
skew rune four, which blocking the path of uh, the undergrounds. But my first rune giving me nine percent stun time, and four upgrades, and blocking the path of the flying creatures, which I actually do not like a lot, <laughs> to be honest, because they're really annoying. My second rune is uh, Straighten Rune 2, which gives me 20% more damage, but the most important thing is giving me 40% more toughness. That's why I am using this rune. My third rune is Destruction Rune 3, which gives me 25 more percent stun time and 20% range, which means I have some more range and actually this tower range is not too bad after I insert this. Um, Destruction rune. My skill rune 4 is giving me only 9% stun time and is giving me only 4 upgrades. Does not block the path of the undergrounds, but this is pretty okay for me because I have another way to deal with them. I do have my time rune 5 on the bottom because it's giving me 40% more stun time duration. So I actually, when I stun them creatures, uh, they stay in 40% more stun, which is okay. I do have my my rune 6, which give me another 30% stun time, which is pretty awesome. And on my last swift rune, I have this for fire rate, which give me a bit more fire speed. Uh, yeah, rate of fire. So that's 25% rate of fire. Um... My Alpha Tower, which is one of my favorite, is the Stun Tower. This is special. This is absolutely 8 stars because they upgrade the game and you can earn this awesome tower in the Legis. So, has nearly no damage. The speed is not too bad, which I'm grateful for. The range is pretty much okay because I have Rune, which gives me some more range as well. I have 9 upgrades. It's pretty, pretty decent cost. 30 costs from the start to deploy and 15 from every upgrade is really good for you, even if you're a beginner, because it's not that expensive. The toughness is pretty, the toughness is pretty awesome as well, which is not too bad. I max out 9 from 9, level 90. This is my main support for ground creatures and for flying. I'll explain you why. Because this has 61.5% chance to stun the creep. And every time you upgrade your tower in the battle, um, the, the, uh, sorry, the time the creature which I managed to stun will go up. So when I upgrade this tower to level 9, I stun the creature for 8 seconds. So 8 seconds is a lot. I did manage to win some runes today, which are three of them lucky runes. Yes, yes, I want them so badly. You know, in my previous videos, I did want them so badly, and today I managed to win three of them. I wasn't able to actually make a video for it because I didn't thought it would give me even one, but I'm really grateful because I earned three of them. So, the best way you can do for your tower, you can see here, you can have 14.3% more hit chance, which means you have a better chance to stun the creep. You have 0.5 effect time, which allows you to, um, to, which allows the tower when you stun a creature to be stunned for a longer time. I have upgrade, 8 upgrades, which is pretty awesome. I have some damage, which is meh. I mean, like, this support, come on. I have some good range, which is okay. And I have some toughness as well, which is pretty okay as well. <clears throat> Apart me. So, for my first tower, I put my Assassin Rune 1. This is pretty awesome rune. It gives me 9% stun time, gives me 4 upgrades, but it's blocking the path of flying enemies as well. For my second one, I have Trading Rune Two, which is the best rune for your second slot runes in the towers. So this gives me 25% more damage, which is okay, but give me 55% toughness, which is pretty awesome as well. The rune I earned today, and I'm happy about it, is my lucky rune 3. And this gives me 20% more hit chance, ladies and gentlemen. And this is pretty awesome. I'll tell you why. Like, for example, if you have all of them runes here, 
this uh, orange one give you only 20% stun chance, which is 0.1. This red one, Lucky Rune, give you only 16%, but this one give you 20% hit chance, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, for my fourth slot, I got Agency uh, Rune 4, which give me 9% stun time and give me 4 upgrades, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is blocking the path of underground enemies as well. So, on my 5 rune slot, I have my Vision Rune 5, which give me some range, like 26% 20, range. I don't have this light blue rune, which give me 40% more range, because I haven't managed to um, earn it yet for this tower. But it's pretty much okay, because this is nearly one more range, which is pretty awesome. For my 6 slot, I got my Might Rune 6, which give me 30% more stun time which is pretty important as well so the creature will be stunned for 30% more time which is 0.3 seconds on this tower I have my Lucky Rune 7 which gives me 16% more stun chance so if I manage to earn this like blue rune Lucky 7 I will be pretty happy because it will give me 20% more stun chance so this is targeting only grounds ladies and gentlemen but the combo which you can do between these two towers as you already know my flaming cannon can force the flanks to the ground which means if i force a flank creature to the ground this stun tower which is targeting only ground creatures can actually stun this creature as well so if i have a harpies or Medusa. This tower is forcing them to the ground and my stun tower is stunning them for another 8 seconds or 10, I, I forgot, I, I, I think they're like 9 seconds. So 2 seconds from here, which over the time when I upgrade to max is like 6 seconds and another 9 seconds from here, this is 15 seconds ladies and gentlemen. And when you have towers like Volcano who can actually targeting only grounds you will stun with these two towers all flying creatures and they will be forced to the ground and you can easily kill them with your main um, damage tower so this is the best I call an edge stun combo you can see my previous videos which are the bo uh, which name are the worst boss ever or which are beast mod on um, in these two videos i i deployed two of them towers and you can see in there how i am actually stunning uh, bosses flying bosses and bats which are only flying on the ground and my volcano is targeting them and killing them fastly uh, some more about my sorry my friends yeah yeah you know some people trying to <clears throat> ask me some questions about the game so this sun tower is the new version of the normal sun tower with only one difference the white snow um, star on the front and it's pretty much better than the normal one and I will tell you why right now so if you compare these two towers which have nothing on there you can let give me a second please I'll, I'll do it like this I will detach this and I will detach both of them of here so you can actually see what am I talking about yes yes so if you have to compare the towers you earning from the leeches and the towers you are earning as normal in the shop or in the game as rewards you can see the difference here like the range is the range is same the speed is the same the damage here on my new stun tower which i earn from the leeches is bigger which is okay the cost is the same and the toughness is the same the numbers of the towers you can employ deploy on the battlefield is the same the max level is the same because they can actually change it and the way they targeting only grounds is the same but 
this one here have 44.2 chance to stun a creep without any room in it about any room in it which means i have nearly four eight like seven point how much 7.3 percent more chance to stun and 7.3 percent chance is imagine that you shooting 21 times every one of three times you will stun you have better chance to stun a creep with this one than with this one so i highly recommend you if you're fighting for this uh new uh stun tower to do it so that's my stun combo for you today ladies and gentlemen and i highly recommend you to see the video so you actually can um have better idea why these two towers are the best stun combo in the game um i will make another videos about towers uh probably later or tomorrow i'm not too sure but the thing is i will make a videos to show how you can combine your towers together how you can actually um use your tower max uh max um um, what's it called? I I didn't get the words. It was on my mouth. Uh, you can use uh, max of your tower to on, on the battlefield. So if you use this stun combo, this will be brilliant. You will see the difference immediately because you wouldn't have to actually uh, boost your um, air guard or to boost any other towers which are shooting flying enemies. So you can see I haven't even used it for a really, really long time ago. So this is my stun, uh, my stun combo today for you. I like you enjoy it. Uh, I would like to see some comments, which telling me have I done good or not. If I did good, uh, thumbs up. If I not comment, uh, let me know why. If you have any ideas about combos between the towers and stuff, I can actually make a video for let me know i'll be actually actually really happy to explain that to you uh, i enjoyed the game absolutely today because i won the rooms i did won most so if you go in my facebook page which is prime world defenders 2 front page you can see actually the pictures from today and uh, from this battle which is really awesome so that was miss lifer it was a really good time to do this video for you and i hope you enjoy it so i will look forward to see you in my next video so enjoy the game